dumb people are outbreeding smart people at a fucking staggering pace. And nobody ever even talks about it. We all kind of know what's happening. And the real problem is most of us are dumb. We don't want to admit it. But really, how many of us are really smart? Look, I know I'm stupid. I know, I know I'm stupid, but yet I'm smarter than almost everybody I meet. <laughs> and the real problem with dumb people is they don't even know they're dumb. That's a part of being dumb, you're not aware. There should be a way to tell, like a home pregnancy test type thing. Some shit you take at home and you lick it and you go, oh, I'm a fucking idiot, shit! What the fuck is this? It's broken. Give me another one. Dudes would never believe it. Idiots would be fucking boxes stacked to the ceiling. Liar! Cocksucker! <laughs> no! <laughs> the real problem is, most of us are idiots. We just like to think we're not idiots because we use a bunch of shit that smart people have figured out. But how many of us understand any of that shit? Think about the technological level that this world operates on. How many of us really understand that? What if everybody out there died and we had to take over the world? Yeah. How well do you think we'd do? Yeah. yeah, terrific. We would do awesome. Yeah. Does anybody know how any of this shit works? Why is that loud? Any idea? I've been a comedian for 16 fucking years. I have no idea what's in there. I don't know, some loud shit? I don't know. What makes that bright? Bright shit? I don't know. Think about all the stuff you need to run your life. Computers and Palm Pilots and cell phones. How many of you know how to make any of that shit? I mean, if I left you alone in the woods with a hatchet, how long before you could send me an email? We are not smart. We buy shit from smart people. I don't have a camera on my phone because I'm smart. If you left me on an island for a fucking million years, I could never figure out how to put a camera in a phone. I don't even know what a camera is. I know I press a button and a picture shows up. What happens between me pressing that button and the picture showing up is anybody's fucking guess. There might be leprechauns or spray paints, fucking gremlins up the ass. All I know is megapixel. You gotta say that to get the good shit. I don't even know what a megapixel is. It's like a noise you make with your mouth. Megapixel. Oh, you're clever. You are clever. Who knows a, people who know that shit? Does anybody know anybody who's invented anything? Who are they? Is anybody watching them? Making sure they're alive? Making sure that somebody makes kids with them? No, no one's paying attention. I think what's gonna happen one day is the smart people are just gonna die and they're gonna leave us with a bunch of shit we don't understand. I think it's gonna be no warning. We're just gonna be sitting around having a good time, having a couple drinks, power's just gonna shut off. And... Everybody's gonna get out the lighter. Way to go, you fucking idiots. Can't even keep the power on, what the fuck? And what do you do when the power goes out? I don't know what you do, but what I do is usually I sit around and I wait. Because I figure this is the guy who fixes that shit. He's probably working on it right now. How long would it take before you figured out that all the smart people are dead? It would take years. All right, you'd have to run out of batteries. Like, dude, I don't know how to make a fucking battery. What do we do? Shit! Listen, just get together with a torch, okay? Get a torch. We're all gonna meet in the street. We're gonna work this out. It's gonna be cool. Stand out in the street with your torch. What's up, fag? Dude, do you know how to get the power on? I thought you did. No. All right, keep me posted. You too. Shit. We'd just be sitting in our house with torches. That would work. Until animals realize we don't have electricity anymore and they start sneaking around cities, checking shit out. <laughs> and then you realize there's no loud noise, doesn't scare them off anymore. And bears just start grabbing people. <laughs> they would just
just realized we're fat and slow and you don't even have to catch us. You scare us, we'll just black out. It's a matter of time before they start eating us. More evolution. But not me, motherfucker, I got guns. All right, I got bullets, I'm gonna be fine. So I run out of bullets and I don't wanna make a fucking bullet. Do you? <laughs> Shit! Dude, there's bears out there, we don't even have bullets. What the fuck do we do? Listen, man, we gotta get out of the city. We're sitting ducks. This is what I think we should do. Let's move back into the caves. People live in caves again. Dude, it's safer in the caves, bro. Just fucking guard the entrance with sharp, pointy sticks. <laughs> and then we would just get down to a core group of survivors fighting off the bears. And within one or two generations, we would forget everything. Trigonometry, calculus, that shit's gone. So it's, ne it's gone, it's gone. It's never gonna happen again. It would take thousands of years. You'd have to reinvent electricity. Within 100 years, we would think the world is flat and the sun is 17 miles away. <laughs> Just like the people that wrote the Bible. That's what they thought. Isn't that funny? <laughs> ah! <laughs> we would just get down to a core, devolve to a core group of survivors and let them re-evolve and rediscover the earth. How crazy would that be? How crazy would a caveman discovering downtown Phoenix be. <laughs> He's coming out of the cave with his fucking club and his buddies. Like, dude, who fucking built all this shit? <laughs> Bro, it had to be aliens. Fuck yeah! <laughs> fuck yeah, it's aliens. I can't do that. You do that? Neither can I. What the fuck? <laughs> See, I think this has happened before. I think it explains the pyramids. And yeah, I was really high when I thought this up. <laughs> but it makes sense. They, if you ever watch a documentary on the pyramids, they have no idea how they made those things. They, they take, well, we believe they use levers, but this is all that you need to know. They know they're there, so they know somebody made it. But all you need to know about the Great Pyramid of Giza is 2,300,000 stones that weigh between two and 80 tons. Some of them were cut from a quarry that was 500 miles away. No machines, no trucks, no steel. They had copper tools, and they were perfectly cut. And you couldn't get a razor blade in between these rocks, and they're perfectly aligned to true north, south, east, and west. And if you cut and place 10 of these monstrous stones a day, it would take you 664 fucking years to make one pyramid. All brought to you by people who thought the god Ra took the sun across the sky in a canoe. <laughs> and returned later that evening with the moon. <laughs> they had 16-year-old queens. Cleopatra was 16 when she was running shit. That's like Lindsay Lohan being queen of the world. <laughs> and they built that. They built that? Are you sure? Are you sure? Okay, because I have another theory. I think people used to be really, really, really fucking smart. But the dumb ones just out the smart ones. That's what I think. I think we are all the bastard children of the idiot stone workers of Egypt. I think at one point there was a master race and they were reading each other's minds and they were free of ego and they were totally honest and they were mapping out the cosmos and behind them, the stone workers just fucked away. <laughs> oh, look, he looked just like me. That's my fella right there. <laughs> They just, just took over. And one day, the smart people just died. There's probably no warning. So one day, the idiot showed up at the pyramids. Hello? <laughs> Anybody in there? We're supposed to get our checks on Friday. A lot of boys got overtime coming. <laughs> the holiday is right around the corner. Have you no heart? <laughs> then eventually they realized the smart people were all dead. 
What do you want to do? I think for now we should just move into the pyramids, then we'll figure it all out. And that's what they did. They just moved in. And then they just started lying about it. After like a couple of generations, who built this? We did? We're the best. We're number one. Egypt. Egypt. Look at that beautiful flat wall. That's craftsmanship, son. I think I will draw stick figures on it. This is a woman. She's carrying fruit upon her head. That's important to document. And this is a man, but he has the head of a dog. And he's evil. Are you sure they made that? <laughs>